And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Hero. All right, we didn't get to this deck yesterday, but I definitely wanted to try it out. So we're going to be playing it over in Rank today. We're going to be playing it in Mythic. We'll be playing four matches and see how it does. The The main reason why I built this deck and just the um, what I wanted to try with this is basically just in this new format that we have right now. There's a lot of control decks. Um and a lot of Witches Oven decks uh, for aggro. So you just see a lot of aggro and a lot of control. And the control has like uh, Fires of Invention and Wilderness Reclamation are big parts of the format. And overall, I just think Knight of Autumn is just an awesome card right now. Uh, it was really good in our Selesnya Knights deck that we played yesterday. And I just wanted to try out some different Knight of Autumn decks. And so uh, we have Abzan Hero here because Knight of Autumn is a multicolor card and uh, Hero of Precinct 1 um, rewards you for playing multicolored spells. And so we have a whole lot of multicolor spells in here to go along with Night of Autumn. Um, Kethis is is just awesome here. Uh, it's a three color multicolor spell and makes all of our legendary spells cost one less to cast. So we can cast things like Othakaya for just two mana. Vraska and Soren only cost three. Tulsimer, Tristani, Kenrith. Reduce the cost of those, and also Liliana and Garrick. So Kethis is kind of like a ramp card that's also just a 3-4 that also um, can give us some some really good late game. If we get to the late game and we get, you know, three plus of these uh, legendary cards in our graveyard, we can start casting them um, out of the graveyard as well. Um, I really like Kaya right now also as against these Witches Oven decks, so that, that was the other reason to go... Um, Abzan to be able to put Knight of Autumn and Kaya together in the same deck because Kaya you can minus one in Exile Witch's Oven, um, which is really important. Um, also like Dispark. Uh, Dispark is a good, you know, got one in the main, a couple more on the board, a really good clean answer to um, Wilderness Reclamation and um, Fires of Invention at instant speed, with, especially with Reclamation, really important to exile at instant speed. And then plus, like, Embercleave at instant speed. You got it, like, the Gruul decks, um, you know, you can, you can get rid of, like, a, a Questing Beast or, you know, any, like, some like some of their uh, bigger threats, Questing Beast, Gargan Hellkite, stuff like that, but then also Embercleave for the um, red aggro decks that are playing that. Get rid of that thing at instant speed before it does millions of damage to you. So yeah, let's give this a try. Um, I'm a little worried about our control matchup. I'm not sure if I have enough in the sideboard against control. We'll kind of see. Uh, Find Finality can can just be a good versatile card. This card's not really the best sideboard card. This should kind of just be a main deck card because it is versatile and useful against everything. But there's not like a specific deck that you like really want to bring in Find Finality against. I just couldn't really find room for it in the main deck, and so it's kind of in the sideboard. But oh well, it's over there. I have Ethereal Absolution in the sideboard for, again, for the cat matchup. You can see I have a ton of stuff against Witches of and Cauldron Familiars uh, with bringing in more Knight of Autumns and Kayas. Um, and then, yeah, Ethereal Absolution makes their cats just always have minus one, minus one, so they, you know, they can't just keep sacrificing them. They just die upon entering. Um, I kind of wish I had more Bullets Citadel. The last time we played this... Uh, a while ago, we'd played that we really focused more on Bola Citadel and things that said gain life um, on them as well. But we'll try Liliana here instead and some more creatures. And uh, this Kenrith is probably going to be awesome. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's see how this how this fits. There's a lot of good Abzan stuff in the format. We're still trying to kind of figure out how to build mid range um, with. There we go. With this new format after the bannings, you know, like I said, like there's a, just a lot of aggro and control right now, and we're kind of trying to figure out exactly how to build mid range. Um, and but uh, I think this has a lot of good tools against the decks people are playing right now, so we'll see how it does. This is a three color deck. We're just we're just Abzan, even though Kenrith uh, says red and blue, but I don't have red or blue mana. We're just a three color deck. Okay. 
I'll probably find another land. I, I do want a fifth land, but I don't think we need to just keep a fifth land immediately. I do really like how Kethis works with Soren also, you know, with Kethis being a 3 CMC card, if it dies, we bring it back with Soren. Trust me. You'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. So if I if I drop Kethis, they just bounce Kethis. Hmm. I was certainly hoping they were just going to minus. That would have been the best for me. Um, I guess there are a good amount of fairies in blue, but there's there's not really fairy payoffs, I guess, besides Distant Melody. I wouldn't really expect... I mean, I'd, I guess I'd have to go search, because, yeah, I didn't really consider fairies. I'd have to, like, search to see what, what all there are, if, if there's enough to make a Distant Melody fairy deck. So the, the big debate was either just play the Kethys or just have Othakaya shoot to fairy. I guess we just play the Kethys and next turn have Othakaya shoot to fairy. It's not not ideal at all. Hmm. Interesting. nothing I guess I don't really want to draw either of those cards so we'll save fetching for as late as we can so next turn I'll be able to like go Kathis plus oath shoot to fairy which is why I'm leading with the Soren. Um, so we can double spell next turn. Oh yeah, Jeskai Fires is very popular. Um, again, we have we have a lot of good stuff for Fires, especially even more in the sideboard, how I have two Disparks, two Knight of Autumns um, in the sideboard. This opening hand that we have here is not so great uh, for this matchup. So but I like what we'll have after sideboard. And unfortunately, their hand does look pretty good with having uh, fires drawn from dreams. So, looks like they'll be getting this game. Oh, Deckmaster! Sorry, no, I never, I never pulled up Deckmaster. I forgot about it. I am loading it now. Okay, so Deckmaster should be up and working. You may need to refresh your stream. What a mess I've made. So yeah, like this kind of deck and, you know, Cat Oven, that's definitely what I'm... Um, what I'm targeting with, with all my artifact and enchantment removal and stuff like that. I'll protect you. But that's the thing about mid-range deck sometimes you have kind of the not you don't have like the best part of your deck right away my hand was a lot better against aggro I mean, they, they just have, it, like, literally everything they could ever want. That's... I kind of wish I had more Duress. But with that being said, Duress does not hit... Um...
Does not hit their Cavaliers. I kind of want to play that Liliana, but I also kind of don't want to play 6-4 drops. Maybe I don't play Citadel. Okay. Oh no. Sound bug. Already looking better. The tension between scry lands and fetch lands. You'd rather fetch first and then scry so you can keep the things at the bottom instead of just scrying to the bottom and then shuffling them back. So that is some tension there. But then again, also you want to play, get your tap lands in as early as possible too. Looking for threats. Don't play this card. I'm trying to pass. There we go. And then rearrange. Hey Thor, I'm doing good. Doesn't really matter what I get. Got plenty of everything. I guess I could have played around that better. <laughs> Can't wait for Esper Reanimator. Awesome. Uh, what deck in Standard do I like playing the most? I usually like playing kind of decks like this, like uh, green mid-range decks. I didn't attack earlier because I was kind of worried about Bone Crusher Giant just killing my Paradise Druid. Uh, now with the Soren, if they kill the Paradise Druid, I bring it back. But also now we have enough Time mana for everything. Drink. They gotta just be sitting on a whole bunch of, you know, five mana cards and stuff. They're not really doing anything. There's a five mana card. Or. 
Devout decree, that's rude. So devout decree. Does that mean... Citadel is better than Liliana. Yeah, I've played Faber of Elder in this deck before. It's... Um, it's, you know, like, very good if you untap with it, but I, I didn't really untap with it hardly ever. And... And so... I don't know. I, I basically kind of replaced, you know, like, replaced it with Knight of Autumn like in that slot. So if they have Negate and they want to Negate this, because they've, they've kind of been, like, holding the two mana up. If they have, like, Negate that they're holding the two mana up, then they'd have to fetch first, and so they wouldn't be able to put two cards back and then shuffle. I didn't play the hero out. Because oh, I should play Sarah first. I guess they can't mystical dispute. I didn't play the hero out because um, because of Deafening Clarion. I didn't want to make it like real easy for them just to kill both my things with Deafening Clarion. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, if you're playing, yeah, if playing this kind of deck with Citadel, I I really like Bond of Flourishing. Yep, I would I'd be playing Bond of Flourishing, you know, because that's a good replacement for Once Upon a Time, and um, and yeah, Bond with when playing Citadel, Bond of Flourishing is is much more valuable too. So yeah, I like that. Um, I, yeah, I play in the, the Mythic Championship Qualifiers here on Arena. I've never got any special invite or anything like that, but, um, you know, we're qualified for the, the next one whenever it is. So obviously Othakaya kills my opponent. But I also think that it's a very good chance that they have negate for how they've been playing. So can I wait? Oh, they're gonna have life gain? They could have Kenrith. Kenrith would be annoying. So maybe I should just do this now. Because if they ever do play a Fires of Invention, then they can't. The thing is, is, if they play a Fires of Invention, then they can't do anything during my turn. just played hero first well maybe not because so i am playing the hero now now i wouldn't really mind them playing clarion sorry i'm late i really i want to incentivize my opponent to That's more like it. tap all of their mana okay that's good Hopefully they don't have a gain life land or another land. Okay. Well, you can only play one deck in the qualifiers. So no, I, I don't do donation decks for the mythic qualifiers. You can only play one deck. It's just a, a one-time event, so I... You know, so yeah, I, I play whatever... Like the 
deck that I try to qualify for it, but... The, the really good part about Liliana is can make them sacrifice multiple Cavaliers. Like, that's what Liliana can do. But if they're going to be that controlling, I'd rather play Citadel. It, it it depends if Citadel is better than Liliana. Like, I don't think I really have enough life gain in my deck, and my curve's pretty high for Citadel to be um, a card that I want against everybody. And especially with called a bunch of Cauldrons familiars around, having your you know using your life total as a resource isn't as ideal as normal either. Yeah, we're going to be playing Historic tomorrow. I mean, this is... I would put basically any land down to the bottom except for this castle. This castle can give me a bunch of 1-1s, which could be valuable. Mm. Probably still need to have spells to win, though. This, this hand looks a whole lot like our first hand. I'm not loving it. Yeah, I do have a Mortify for a Fires, I guess, but still not loving this. Uh, right, yeah, right now it's anything goes with Historic. But, yeah, over time, things will be banned. Um, just like any other format. But there's no, there's nothing that's banned right now. Kethis is not good against Teferi. That Teferi card's very strong. Seraph also not good against Teferi. They play another one and bounce it. I've got time. They just put them both on top. It's probably not good for me. Um, Eastern time. Yeah, I'm starting at noon Eastern tomorrow. I don't really have very good things against these Cavaliers. Wow. Wow. Discard. They just discarded Drawn from Dreams? Uh, 
two more blue cavaliers. Gross. Yeah, the yeah, the changes are already yeah, they they had the announcement or like they they changed arena immediately. Um with the ban the banning took effect immediately. Yeah, very good hand. So obviously I get to kill one with the Seraph. The Cavalier of Flames is a better card than the Cavalier of Gales. Right now Flames does three damage to me though if I kill it. So if I if I block Cavalier of Flames with Seraph, I die. So I guess I have to block this way. This is this is not really gonna end well for me unless I can find my Disparks. I gotta get rid of this Cavalier of Flame. Or, you know, like, I don't know, just removal spells. Which we're not finding any. I can't really attack with one of these and hold one back to block a Cavalier. Well, I guess they can't, they can't really cast Cavalier and Bonecrusher Giant. So we saw them have Blue Cavalier and Bone Crusher Giant. That's fine. I wish, um, you know, I wish I didn't take out Liliana for Citadel right now. I'd rather have Liliana. Liliana would be a nice card to draw. Okay, that's the start. That's the start. So they didn't just play the Bone Crusher Giant out. Please don't have negate. All right, good. So I think I just make this a four three over gaining four life because the four three can tussle with the Bone Crusher Giant. isn't a fight you can win. I've got it. I mean, they could be holding disdain. Like we saw disdainful stroke last uh, last game. I think that's pretty likely that they have a disdainful stroke. Hmm.
That hurts. Well, I'm glad we gained the four life both times instead of making two four threes. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> uh. Yep, Liliana would have been a lot better. Well, here we go. Okay. Well, we at least ate their disdainful stroke. Let's try this. It's not really a thing I'm going to find with the castle. Um, yeah, don't, I don't really mind that matchup. I think we're gonna, I think we'll be okay in that matchup most of the time. My opponent just had a lot better hands than I did games one and three. Just had really ideal hands as he saw them, you know, discarding, like their hand was so good that they discarded Drawn from Dreams on turn four when they don't even have to, but their hand was just so loaded. Um, they just chose to take a random card over Drawn from Dreams. Their hand was so loaded. And my hand was very slow and not very good. Okay. Better. We'll see if we find green mana with this scry. All right, we'll take it. We actually get to the lead with turn two, Hero. Could be a rematch. Could be a rematch. <laughs> Thanks, Janini. So far, we're one to know when we played a two mana creature, and we are. Oh, and two when we did not have a two mana creature. A lot better than just only sitting on Kethises and Knight of Autumns and nothing else. Actually having a variety of spells. Um, well, this is obviously just going to kill the Teferi. I suppose that's how it was meant to have a useful trait. I guess I'll play this and this. I wanted to play Golgari Queen this turn and, and just sacrifice the 1-1 one, one that it makes. Draw a card. Somebody bothering you? We will meet again. Just you wait. Yep, we got a rematch here. I think we have a different opponent, it's just the same deck. But I don't know, I didn't really pay attention to my opponent's name last time. I'm not sure. I require your body. 
not a soul. Oh, you better I won't forget. We haven't seen any Cavaliers yet. So don't know for sure that they're the Cavalier version. I can no longer stand by and watch. This might be a bad idea. All right, well, there's dead here. Yeah, I have a damage. Uh, attack for three. Kaya ult for four. And Soren for one. Yeah, minus two, plus two, minus two works really well. Okay. Maybe we should keep a Golgari Queen in. I don't know. Golgari Queen's a lot better when we have Hero than when we don't. I could play, I could play the Find. Hmm. Alright, so this would be taking out the Tristani and one Oath of Kaya and playing Golgari Queen and playing both Liliana and Citadel. The best that Othakai doing is like shooting to fairy, I suppose. Bone Crusher Giant. All right, so that game was a lot better for us. So we're two and two in games in this matchup. You know, we had our hero get clarioned a couple of times. Ooh. This is kind of tough. Um... No, I, I mean, I think the spark's just better than Omnix's cruelty. For this kind of matchup. I would not I would not think about keeping this at all if we didn't have the temple. I think we should probably still just mulligan. Mm, this is slow. Let me take out the Soren. So the Liliana could cost five mana with Kethis, and you know Liliana could do a lot of things. Uh, no, Kethis does not lower the CMC. You just spend less mana to cast it. So no, the four mana walkers can still get um, disdainful stroked. Their their CMC is still four on the stack. You just only spent three mana to cast it. Don't 
Darn. And they drew a land. Does not does not match up against a fairy. Really hope we, you know, they they go to fairy bounce. Really hope we draw a land and we can just Soren and pick off the Teferi that way. But um, yeah, Kethis, Cavalier, Cavalier. That's going to be pretty rough to deal Let's with later on. I've done the hero thing before. Just let me know if you're up for round two. They can play their um, sorcery at instant speed. So if I just play Midnight Reaper, they could just clarion on it away. All right. Which I guess that wouldn't have been the, the worst thing, because then I'd be able to pick it back up with Soren. I know my responsibility. Uh, that really hurts. Here we now go. I definitely wish I would have just played Midnight Reaper. Uh, and then I could have Soren and killed this. Wow, that really hurts. Yeah, that really hurt. Hey, Wanderer. Trust me, I have a plan. Looks like I should have gone Midnight Reaper. That would not have been a bad card to get Mystical Disputed. Day 33 with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, welcome to the channel there, Tay. Thank you so much for that support. This is hardly my worst defeat. It certainly feels like they're just holding up counter magic. If I don't play anything, then they get to Castle of Antris, though. Hope it's just Clarion and not Counter Magic. Oh, thank you. Coming over here from YouTube? Well, thank you. Yeah, I've been, I've been real excited about how much the YouTube channel has been growing and everything. All right, Kenrith is gone for good. Liliana back. Um, I think I can take a little bit of damage here. I want them to make their discard decisions first before they know that anything's going to die. I 
guess their hand's just loaded. Stop drawing lands. I only have one legendary card for this Kethys. We need to be able to exile two and then cast something else. We need three legendary cards in our graveyard. Gross. Corbidan with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel as well. Three brand new subs to kick off the day. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. I'll update that here in just a second. We got five black white lands, so we're probably good there. Okay. Well, I'm glad we took out the Othakaya for a Golgari Queen. I think Othakaya is better. I don't get to do any haste. You know, we can gain life and put stuff back into play. Um, again, I'll let them do their discard decision first. All right, so they like their card in hand. They got lots of mana for these castles, unfortunately. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Hey, Azareth coming from the YouTube channel. Awesome. I've been suffering a long time. I really want to tell you how much I love the Selesnya Knights deck. Helped me get into platinum rank for the first time since I played the game. Well, that is awesome. Azraleth, and happy to have you here. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. It's pain is our gain. So I want to ultimate Golgari Queen. I hope they don't find a sweeper. Double to spark. Means we got creatures covered. So far they've had two cavaliers and a Kenrith. Um, that's pretty good. I guess I don't, I don't really have that covered. They don't have the mana, unless that's a white land drop, they don't have the mana to planar cleansing. So it's likely they're looking for either time wipe or... It's probably just like time wipe. I don't know if they'll be able to deal with the creatures and deal with the Vraska. Wait. 
I mean, that's got to be a land in hand, right? Yeah. All right, so they kill all my creatures or getting rid of Golgari Queen. Killing creatures. Out. Check out these fireworks. I really don't, don't want to keep sacrificing lands. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. No, I couldn't disbark after the minus three because after I mean after the minus three the hero the hero's gone so I don't get the one one anymore. It's kind of the problem with sacrificing all your lands. You get extra cards, sure, but... I don't know how mana to do stuff. This has been a great time to draw like a creature uh, to still be able to threaten the Golgari Queen ultimate. Gross. Scribe bolt to the top. I think they're going to get this game. Tons of mana with Castle Vantress. Probably better than sacrificing lands to get an extra card. Why not? The ultimate just doesn't do anything right now. So they scried that to the top and then just didn't do anything. Is that just a counter spell? It's got to just be a counter spell, right? Are they hoping that I tap out? Is it like a creature, something that they don't want me to, to, to spark yet? Yeah, they might kill the Vraska. But also, when it's at 10 loyalty, I knew that they were probably going to be playing the Fey of Wishes, and I wanted to minus 3 to kill the Fey of Wishes. So that's why I ticked up to get more loyalty instead of minus 9, because then I could have minus 3 and kill Fey of Wishes afterwards. You're not scared of dogs, are you? An unfortunate casualty. No, I just need more cards. All right. Um, so next turn I can go Kethis, Exile, Kenrith, and Kethis, and then play Soren and have Soren minus and put Midnight Reaper into play. Or Night of Autumn. Mm, this is probably planar cleansing now. I'm glad we sacked that token to draw a card. Mm. 
Whoa, not planar cleansing. Ether gust, not nearly as scary. Not nearly as scary. Okay. Guess they didn't have planar cleansing. All right, one on one. And I'm gonna. It's it's starting to kind of get you know that laggy part. We're gonna go ahead and reset before our next two games. We're gonna play. I said we're playing four matches. We'll reset before our next two. Yeah, even if it was planar cleansing, we were going to be in a good spot with that Kethis draw because we we're going to be able to get Kethis, Soren, and Midnight Reaper all into play the next turn. So even if it was planar cleansing, I liked where we were at. All right, I guess while we're loading here, I should mention, uh, put another post on the Patreon. It's where I'm writing uh, stuff over there if you're watching on YouTube. There's a link down below. Um, but if you want to see my written content, or it's uh, $3 a month. So not too much. And so if you're enjoying all the videos over on YouTube, hope you, hope you support over there. Um, but I wrote about the 20 new cards in Historic that they're going to be adding tomorrow. And... Just kind of dove into historic a little bit. Um, that's what we're going to be doing on this, this stream tomorrow, of course. Oh, whoops. Um, and then uh, on two days ago, we wrote about what I kind of expecting from this new standard format. I kind of want a Fabled Passage first. No, nah, we'll, we'll go with the Temples first. I don't know. I mean, I need land, but I would like an untapped land for turn three. Preferably for this Kethys. So it's pretty greedy putting the land down to the bottom. Eh, I guess I just won't. So I do need more land. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, MTG bot, like the sub ran out, I guess, so. I, I messaged the I the person in charge of the NTD bot, because um, I'm no, I'm a member of their uh, Patreon. Um, uh, so send him a message. Hopefully, he'll be subbed again sometime Trust soon. I have a plan. Don't really want it, that Vraska. It's basically just kills Teferi, and, and I don't have like lands that I really want to be sacrificing. Yeah, 
If that resolved, I was not playing the Paradise Druid. Exclamation point deck. Uh, whoops. The there you go. Exclamation point deck for the, the deck list. No, I don't. I don't have any delay built into the stream. Um, I think it just kind of naturally delays a little bit. Um, you know, just the information traveling and everything. I guess I don't know, but no, I, I don't. I don't have any delay set. So obviously, we have a big enough board presence to command a. Time wipe. I don't need to commit anything else to it. We also have the Castle Ardenvale that I can put a creature into play as well there. Okay, yeah. Best of luck, Matthew. Sounds like it's still going good. Hopefully you get the job. Good luck. Okay, so they have the time wipe. Unfortunately, they have the mana for a time wipe plus a three mana counter spell. Which isn't ideal for me. All right, getting more counter spells out of their hand makes it a better chance that Garrick resolves in the future. All right, so I'm I'm committing more to the battlefield here. Because I thought it'd be kind of because then even if I even if I would have put out more things, then I would have overcommitted to a time wipe. I thought it was going to be pretty difficult for them to have a time wipe and a counter spell for Garrick to have both of those things.
primal and violent. I like them. If we were born for the hunt. Yeah, you definitely play a shock land as a bluff. That's a, that's definitely a good move. Oh man. All right, looks like it's better again. Sorry about that. Remember, you lag part there. You Ooh, planar cleansing. That's a great one. Where are those chemistry's insights now? I can get rid of anything, living or dead. I really should have seen that for coming. now, but not forever. All right, so two time wipes and a planar cleansing gone so far. The, yeah, that's the same rank for best of one and best of three. It's just a constructed rank. So yeah, you, you can play best of one or best of three and, and rank up, and it's the same number. Planar cleansing was big. This guy is, of course, going to get uh, subword out. It's not doing very much. That one actually got through. So I know I could have gained life with the lifelink Soren, but I wanted to see if they did anything. I mean, there's only one card, but I just wanted to see if they did anything to these attackers first. The ring of my sword is your death knell. I need one more. I need one more legendary creature. Because I want to get back Kethis and then have Kethis replay the Garrick, but I need, I need one more legend. One more legendary thing. In my graveyard. I'll be back. You better watch your back from here on out. I think my plan is, I think, instead of just getting Belhaunt or Seraph of the Scales, which I'd probably get Seraph of the Scales, it's more difficult to deal with, but then that gets rid of my Sorin. What I'll do is tick up here and kind of incentivize my opponent to attack the Kaya and hope they kill Kaya. In which case, I'll be able to recast Garrick well done. the next turn. Look to see me no more. Well, 
Well, they didn't have a counterspell last turn. I hope they don't have a counterspell again this turn. Okay, good. My heart is hollow with scorn for you. Guess they could have like mystical dispute. Um, obviously the brazen borrower gets to kill the Soren. I require your body, not your soul. I'll be back. Just you wait. Let's play a game of hide. All right, good. We were born for the hunt. That worked out. Mm, I don't like the scry one top. Please don't have another planar cleansing. Please don't have two. Okay. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I've got time. Looking good. Yeah, so they, they played three time wipes and one planar cleansing so far. You can see how well we can grind, though. You know, the Soren brought back Kethis, which brought back Garrick. So they could kill Garrick. Hmm, looks like Gadwick. Huh. Pretty glad. I didn't think they really mattered while I was exiling, but I'm pretty glad I exiled the time wipes and planar cleansing now. There's still one time wipe in their deck. In their graveyard. If I would have if I would have dealt the one damage to them instead of the Teferi, with them being at two, I would have like the castle plus the Sorn as lethal even through a time wipe to like so they couldn't just kill Garrick. Doom foretold cat decks. Ooh. That does sound pretty brutal. That's ruining your day. I 
I can't wait for tomorrow. Performance issues, but it looks like I'm likely going to just be buying a new computer here real soon, so I'm, I'm sorry about all this, but I'm planning on getting a new computer. Well, yep, they got the... Not another time wipe again. Ooh, I almost clicked on my turn. No, I mean, it's not game. They have Brazen Barber right here. They, they just bounce my token. Or This is not game. Might as well try and force them to have another time wipe. There's a... I mean... Two time wipes are in exile, one's in the graveyard. <laughs> A second planar cleansing? Two planar cleansings. That hurts. Now they have their own castle art and veil also to make creatures. This isn't a fight you can win. Not looking great. No, my opponent definitely does not have four planar cleansing. They could have four time wipe and two planar cleansing, that would make sense. I'll Maybe a third, you. but I don't think there's any way they're playing four. Maybe, I mean, maybe more after sideboarding and everything, too. Yeah, it's almost, yep, almost Cyber Monday. I think that sounds like a, a really good time to buy a new computer. Goes nothing. Tranquil Cove, getting that extra life.
So basically all that it's about right now is can my opponent kill me before they mill out. It's kind of all it's about right now. Say the answer is likely yes. That's that's what I'll be purchasing perhaps. I mean that's what I'm using right now is just a dedicated peaming streaming PC. I don't I don't have anything. Don't worry, I got this. I don't use my computer at other times except for for streaming. So yeah, that's that's what I'll be buying. I'll, I want to buy something that um uh, a second castle. Something that will be good for for you know, playing arena and recording for YouTube and streaming all at the same time. Hopefully be able to stream in 1440 or just at least uh, play at 1440. Because, um, you know, I, my monitors can do 1440. Um, you know, do all that, you know, for... You know, a couple of years to come, and so I, I'm definitely looking to, to buy some a very well performing machine. Um, Here we go. So if you have a description for a or if you have like a link to like a really high end computer that you think would would do great uh, for a long time and not have issues whatsoever and be very well performing, I would not. Uh, I'd be just happy with uh, with suggestions. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know how to build a PC. Uh, that's not something I really want to learn. Hey, CW. Uh, how much, t oh, well, hello, Rex. That's what I meant to say. But how much time left? They have 15 minutes. I have 18 minutes. Yeah, a real, a real good friend of mine, one of my best friends built this this computer that I'm using now, but it was like three and a half years ago. I don't really have a budget. I've been I've been saving up and everything. I I you know like this is my business. This is like what I, I do for a living, so I need something that is very reliable. And works really well. Yeah, mono black discard could be pretty decent in the standard format. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to get back to it. I, I'm not really planning on a, a two different PC streaming setup. I don't. I mean, I, I don't know if I could really even set that up. I don't. I'm not that. That seems kind of confusing. Back 
That's more like it. So it's not, yeah, it's not that I don't mind purchasing something, like purchasing a new PC. I just don't know well, what to get or to really how to set up, before. how to set my stream up again on a, on a new PC. I, I don't really even know how to do that. <laughs> it's just not, not what I'm best at. But we'll also see with tomorrow. Supposedly they've made um, some improvements. And everything, like you know, the um, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, I don't, I don't have much of the memory leak problem either. Without, uh, like, if I'm not streaming, it runs a whole lot smoother. If I'm not streaming and recording. Whenever I play off stream, hey, smug. Thanks for that resub there. I appreciate that. Fourth sub of the day. Well, I mean, this this game's just gone so long that we're just going to draw. Um, you know, we're going to draw a lot of our lands. Yeah, I drew 15 lands in half of the deck, like 30 cards. That's about average, you know. See, this is what I was talking about before of, of maybe not having enough enough of a sideboard for this kind of matchup for a hard control deck. Uh, when I talked about at the beginning, um, when we talked about the deck at the beginning, I, I or <clears throat> this is a matchup that I'm kind of worried about. Don't know if I have enough of a enough good cards in the sideboard for it. Planar cleansing is a huge problem. Maybe, maybe I just keep Kaya's in. This is like where the, the Ethereal Absolution slot probably needs to end up something that's just better against control than what that is. <laughs> he just hit a, a mono black 
discard mirror. That's crazy. Um, yeah, we we started a little late. Um, I was I was putting together and like tuning a donation, like one of the donation decks that we got a little bit before the stream. So yeah, we did start late. It's but yeah, it's been an hour and a half for this is our third game here. Really hoping we draw land. Let's try this. Oh, interesting. This might be a bad idea. I'm known for my excellent timing. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. They were looking for land drops as well. Land. Don't worry, I got this. Darn. <laughs> Nothing phases me. It's only a matter of time. Look to see me no more. So we can get that chemistry's inside out of there so they don't get to draw more cards. If you show remorse, I'll show you. That's more like it. Thanks, Tesla. Hardly my worst defeat. Man, this is crazy. We've drawn zero lands this game. You're not Only to this is hardly my worst defeat. I'll protect you. <sighs> Usually I'm better at dodging. Finally. Will make a nice souvenir. I want to don't flatter yourself. I'll be back. Just you wait. The trophy could have taken out this castle Arden Vale. That that thing could be a problem. I gotta just be sitting with a bunch of sweepers over there. I was a little surprised that the Vraska didn't get countered. I was happy it didn't, though. Being ruthless. 
has no lands. Uh. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. We've drawn one land in ten cards. One. This might be a bad idea. Ten cards since the since the game started. One land. You won. Getting bored anyway. This time. Yeah, I did, Guru. I did. I just can't play anything in my hand. I need to draw another green land before I can play Tulsimer. I've got it. Hey, what's up, Toxic Flames? Thanks for that reset. Um, so while I, I would like to play Tulsimer to... To stabilize, but we need double green, of course. Thank you, Toxic Flames. For now, but not forever. Here we go. They obviously have a lot of sweepers, too. They could just cast like a time wipe here. Um, Obviously, they have a, they have a bunch of sweepers in hand. So yeah, they're just gonna cast the time light.
Game's not over. Oh, because I can activate Seraph. I was like, why did it stop and ask me to do stuff? Let's try this. Get some cool animations. These devout decrees, though, have been a little annoying. Don't auto pass. No, I tried taking off the auto pass. Ah, uh, second main, I need to cast find and get those two things back. That hurts. I've got time. So yeah, I could have ticked up, but then they don't get to kill the Sorin. But I think it's best just to <clears throat> get something back. Um, I, I don't know, Bleeding Black. I would have to kind of look at it again. I, I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd change anything there. Alright, now this is over. Yeah, the, the point of the point of Kaya in the deck um, is to is to exile witches ovens. Um, a lot of witches ovens around. That's her main point there. So yeah, I think all right, so I think the ethereal absolution should probably go and I think I should I think I want a third duress. I think that's what I want instead there. Um I think the ethereal absolution's probably just overkill against the aggro decks and I think you, we need a little bit more against control and just another duress would help out a lot um to be able to help us double spell and things like that. So that's that's a change that I would make moving forward but I liked how the rest of it played um you know we went one and two but um yeah I liked what our deck was doing I, I think we we did a lot of good stuff and uh in particular we're really going to be stronger against the um aggro decks but um I, I would change that to start with and then honestly probably just the fine finality too I I kind of feel like we don't need fine finality maybe get a fourth duress in like that talked about how I don't really love the fine finality but um I don't, so like this this find is definitely a flex slot. I want something else against control. I was thinking that this could be good against control, but then could also be like kind of a sweeper. But I don't think I don't know if we'll ever really want to use the finality as a sweeper. Um So some some other anti control card there for the find finality slot. Um I'll just kind of keep it in the find right now, but 
uh, if you you know if you were watching this later if you have a good idea for for that slot but yeah unfortunately we played against three control decks and so hour 45 minutes for our three matches uh we're gonna have to move on to our donation decks here um so we're not gonna be able to play the fourth match um no i don't really like gideon that much um i don't know gideon's usually pretty easy to deal with I wouldn't mind a third Paradise Druid in here. The Assassin's Trophies weren't anything special. I could see taking out one of these five mana spells for a third, or sorry, one of these five two mana spells for a third Paradise Druid. Our deck definitely looked a lot better when we got to play a, a creature on turn two than whenever we didn't have a creature on turn two. Probably Midnight Reaper. I like Midnight Reaper more than... I like Midnight Reaper more than Gideon against control decks. Even though Midnight Reaper is not great against Teferi. But. Uh, I, I don't remember Wadakiss. You, you have to check the end of the video on YouTube. I don't, I don't remember. Um, so there we go. That's, uh, that's Abzan Hero, though. Um, definitely a strong deck against the aggro decks. Um, which may make it a little bit better for best of three, but you know we we played against some control decks. We struggled a little bit, but we saw we had a lot of card advantage and a lot of uh, staying power. Really, that first that first game against control, there was multiple times that that I thought that we were going to win, but then the the two planar cleansings were just devastating. That's not a card that you see too often. Um. Uh, but anyway, there we go. That's Abzan Hero. All right, uh, again, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe over there, uh, leave some comments, and of course, I hope you check out my Patreon page uh, where I just wrote about Historic today, and I'm going to be writing stuff um, you know, over there. It's $3 a month. Uh, we talked about um, the changes in Standard on Monday. I wrote an article about that, and then also wrote an article about the 20 new Historic cards um, today. All right, but thank you so much for watching. Abzan Hero, and I'll see you for the next video.